Welcome to another smoke box for Be Real TV. I'm Dr. Green Thumb, AKA Be Real, with one of my longtime friends right here. We've been talking about doing this shit a long time. Gangsta Boo in the yes, whip. Yes, I am in the whip. And we're accompanied by E Zone, these funky fill tips, and some insane um, proper, you know what I'm saying? Um, welcome to the box, Boo. Woo, yes, honey. I haven't, I haven't been in a smoke box. Um, she's, I was a teen. Now I'm lying. It's been recently <laughs> in Memphis. Now you were here um, a while back when we first jumped into this particular location, and I, I think you did the Dr. Green Thumb I show. I did yeah. actually. Yes, I did. But we had always talked about you coming in here, and and I want to say when 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 women come into the box, it's a it's a fucking win win because. I think it it breaks the conception the the misconception that women don't chief like the dudes because I know a lot of chicks that can out chief dudes. The women alumni, I think, is, it sets a different standard. Not like because because like a lot of chicks will kind of like over, overthink overthink it before they they even attempt it, and then like chicks <laughs> come in here, yeah, and just like damn, and it's like you were smoking like this the whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> now I'm a stoner. Yeah, and I know that I'm a you stoner because you're an OG. <laughs> and um, it just, it just, uh, it plays into that whole shit. I mean, you know, this this smoke box situation mm -hmm. is, is built for folks like us that like our OGs in the smoke game Facts. that they can actually hang. But it's, it's good to to when we have like our peers in here, we could have these these different sort of conversations. Oh you know yeah, oh yeah. And uh, man, again, it's good to have you. I know, I'm really excited. Now, I might, I might use my napkin every now That's and then. That's all right. Guys. <laughs> That's all right. You know, because this is real, y'all. We are really like smoked out, loked out. In What's the, the last time box? you got into a car like this? Because I remember it's been a minute. Like, I mean, unless if it wasn't for this, but like just like voluntarily smoking, though, like in the car. To be honest, I mean, this is what I do. <laughs> this is what we do. Yeah, yeah, just to be honest, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. It's just usually we rolling with the yeah, AC. Yeah, yeah, with the air and shit. With the AC. No, I'm gonna have to like put an AC box. on. Like just like yo. Yeah, a real hot. But, uh, it's uh, it's been a minute, but it's a vibe though. I feel like old school. Like like you said, OG. Yeah, you know, cause it you the what this always brings me back to, and, and I'm gonna I'm gonna actually for the next season set set something up different. Is you know how like when you go into the studio, right, and mm -hmm. right when you're like sort of finished with the song mm -hmm. to sort of test the sound of it. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers would come to the car and Facts. rock the song and Facts. smoke out and vibe Facts. and have a conversation either about the song or whatever while they're yep. listening to the song. Yep, that's is definitely what we used to do. Paul used to always do that. He would actually mix, they'll mix a song and then they'll go to the car and listen to the mix. Yeah. Straight up. Hey, I gotta tell you, man, you were one of, a part of one of the fucking illest um, verses and I don't like to plug verses too much because they sort of shit on yeah, us. Yeah, I, 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 I saw, I, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, but I gotta say, y'all's was one of the dopest ones because <laughs> it, it was just, I gotta say, y'all came with heat every yeah, time. Yeah, bro, them folks, Paul and Juice, they didn't play fair. Yeah. They it, didn't play fair. It was, it, it was party rock. You know, like motherfuckers, it was it was hilarious. It was about it was funny, but it was entertaining. It was, and it was hip hop. It, it was. It was that rap shit. It was. Uh, it and was one of them the, did their thing too. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. They they, they undeniable. I'm saying both both groups did their thing, and it was actually what verses is supposed to be. Yeah, even the bra, even a little scuffle, even a little scuffle. <laughs> you know, hey, we all know that 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 hip hop, you know. <laughs> On, on conception was was obviously to entertain, mm -hmm. but it all also was very competitive. Yeah, you know, facts, facts. So, so that's why I kind of like the idea of the verses, like, cause it's like a sound clash. You know how they used to do sound clashes? DJs would yeah see who rocked the party yeah. best. Yeah, and I like when bands do this. And I thought, like, you know, when they first did it. The idea of it is amazing, you know what I mean? And then having an actual crowd there to yeah, rock with. Yeah, yeah, dude. That shit is everything. But, you know, what they did to us in Onyx was not cool, but, you know. Did y'all know that, though? Like, or, No. Wow, they no. didn't even tell you? No, had I had I known Surprise. that they, had I known that they weren't going to, like, stream it live, you wow. know, on IG and do all that shit, I would have said no, because, I mean, that's why we do it. Yeah. Because people are getting to see that for free. Yeah. And, you know, it's either reintroducing people to yes. you yes or 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 your or an introduction to new people yes right? it's really both 
And that's why most of us agree to do that shit mm -hmm, in the first place, because mm -hmm. we're battling our friends in mm -hmm. most cases. It's both. You know, and so we felt like what they did to us in Onyx, it, they could have had gold right there had they done it in the original form. Yeah, because I didn't even know about it. Yeah, no one. So you did. said something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm following your pages and stuff. And I was like, oh, wow, they had that? Now, see, that's what I'm talking about, right? So, like, the fact that you didn't know and a lot no, of I'm other... not like that? Yeah, and, and a lot of other entertainers and, and celebrities and, and fans, most importantly, most important fans, the fans, the supporters, didn't know. And, you know, so it sort of just took away from the shit but but you're a real trooper though for still talking about it like you know what i'm saying like you say you don't want to mention it but you got to give props to where it's doing that was what you was doing <laughs> yeah because i saw you with you said that up to styles about their verses and so i appreciate that yeah and i'll tell you to me like it was it was my favorite platform of shit because it's like you got to see legends Fact. go heads up song for song and it was just entertaining because no one held anything personal sure there was probably a little little scuffles here and there but realistically nobody yeah we got back together that's 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 called yeah. adulting yeah it's it's adult shit like the, especially with with the one that that Jeezy and and that uh, Gucci and Jeezy was and Gucci, insane. Man, that, that shit. Was, that was insane. Yeah. That was nuts. Yeah, that was nuts. That was insane. That was insane. Insane, and I'm in brain, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm warm, man, y'all. I'm a girl. Oh, I'm warm too. But it's a good warm. It's like a tropical warm. Like Trop a, yeah, like we in Miami. Yeah, like a tropical. You know, yeah. then I'm black, so you know, like every, when I sweat, I drip. Go, like it's like a gold. Every, every gold. time somebody you know says that, that though, like every time somebody says, "Oh yeah, it's like Miami," that doesn't make Miami appealing to me. Like I don't want to be sticky. I don't want to. Well, be like, see, it's more like, a, <laughs> like it's not it's not humid. It's like um, it's like I can breathe. It's like wet. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's different. In Miami, it's it's kind of different because like you got to like almost like shower three times a day. Like yeah. well, yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's <laughs> fly as fuck. I mean, you know, yeah. There's there's a lot of shit to do, and you know. Like if you're a single motherfucker, there's a lot of eye candy, no doubt. All the porn stars shower three but, times out there. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the sacrifice. You gotta deal with that. You might have to change two, three times in a day. You know, but that's bearable. It's not like oh, you know how Vegas you couldn't fuck around and stand there oh. and play with that heat? That heat's gonna kill you. <laughs> like, no, I was just in I was just in Denver. And that Denver heat was kind of brutal. It's because you're up there, though. You know what I mean? That Denver there. heat was brutal. I guess I was like, well, I've never been in Denver in the summer, I guess. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's low-key I didn't know hot. that. Low-key hot. It was Those brutal. Hot, hike hot in the summer damn. in Denver will kill you. It's like, it was 100 degrees out there. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Get me back to L.A. Get me back to L.A. And, and, then, it, and then I came back from tour, thought it was going to be <laughs> all right. It was hotter than everywhere else, <laughs> God damn it. Um, What are you working on these days? Well, I'm doing um, a project called The Blueprint, and it's taken me a while because, like, I love to do music, obviously, and, you know, we've been doing it for a long time, especially, you know, like, real music, and yeah. I just, I'm having so much fun just watching other female MCs do their thing, and just, like, all the, the, the newer rappers and stuff, and I, like, mentor and, like, produce also behind the scenes. I do so much other stuff behind the scenes. I, I, I I'm really have to be inspired yeah. to, like just put out some boo shit and um i've been doing features and you know still affiliated with paul and juicy obviously so um in the meantime in between time i'm writing right now is, is the blueprint and i like to compose it so that's kind of i'm in the, the process of composing it but i dropped something called sucker free it's on youtube and shit and all online and shit right now i hate even saying that what on our platform it just sounds weird it's a, it's it's way different from when yeah, we started right it's like you know okay we put our shit out you already know it's in stores so it that the modern weird. way but that's the modern it's way we gotta plug this bullshit yeah. that's like saying like like if you're saying like oh i got a meet and greet like it wasn't that called in store i was in store yeah like it's like yo catch cypress hill at, at anchor blue in store and you know what i forgot about that I, now i say meet and greet yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. it was called it's, in store yeah it was basically an in store and let me explain to y'all what an in store is all right Right. So like when we would put out like, let's just say our first record, you don't do this so much later unless you really want to. But it's a necessity that the record label instills to you like you have to do this. There is no not doing it. Right. Yeah. So like it's a promo stop. Right. So yeah. like if you're doing a promo tour, which means you're on tour, not getting paid anything, you're just basically going and promoting your music. They would have you visit um 
different record stores to meet with the retailers there and the staff there and perhaps fans. Like Tower Records? Yes, and this is where you would sign your albums, posters and shit, yeah. posters and shit to get locked in with fans. And now we call this a meet and greet. Yep. They're no longer called in stores because we have no stores. I miss stores. I miss stores too. It was a too. storm. It was called Pop Tunes, man. We had Tower Records. Tower. Yeah. Yours are smoking greets, though. Be real, like both of y'all are smoking greets. Yeah, like be real. is never meet and greets because people yeah. are smoking up whatever that, venue it I is. I gotta get locked in with that too. Though. I like, <laughs> I, I, I like, I like, I, I prefer the smoking in store meet and greets. Yeah, those those are fun because you know it's it's crazy because like I don't need the weed, right? Because we grow our own and, uh -huh, and, and uh -huh. we we got our own shit, right? But what's cool about doing these meet and greets in this time especially like for for let's just say um let's just say for uh dispensaries and whatnot is that people will come with weed and they'll be like hey man i grew this i want you to try it let Do me you? know what you think oh well, hell yeah so if, I, if, if i know it's good like i i'm yeah. not sweating too if, much man i feel like i'm getting <laughs> wet as fuck no you you good you good yeah yeah you, you, you doing, you can somebody give me a good. napkin <laughs> 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 Edit <this one. laughs> straight up you know it's a hit or miss though with that sometimes you sometimes remember, yeah. it is like but but i mean you know if you got the right if you know your shit, right it's like when people would come up to us and be like hey would you listen to this demo Mm, I mean, like, mm, mm -hmm. the, the, you know, like, and some of them good, some, and of, them some of them good, some mm -hmm. of them not. Now, mm -hmm. sometimes, depending on the approach, you know whether it's a motherfucker <laughs> you should listen to or uh -huh. not, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It's the same with the cannabis shit. You know whether, like, you know uh -huh. whether you should fuck with this or not, depending on how this motherfucker approaches. Yeah. And then, obviously, you know, with cannabis, what's different is you can look at it, smell it, see it, all that shit. Especially you. You can tell somebody. Like, I consider fun. myself a connoisseur. But it still levels to even being connoisseurs. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because <clears throat> I like when I really knew I was a connoisseur is when I smoked what they call rapper weed one time. Like it was like, like I was trying to write and I was smoking. Right. And I was in Atlanta. That was before I had moved out here and shit. And they uh, in Atlanta everything is gas. Yeah. Or pressure. Yeah. It's not really strange. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> so I'm like trying to write and shit. And I got writer's block and I couldn't write. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? And then but then once I moved out here. I was like, oh, I can write on this type of weed. Right. I can write on this type of weed. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's what really, really made me a connoisseur. And you like sativas for that, right? Or hybrids. Hybrids. Like, yeah, Blue Dream, Pineapple Express, some shit like that. OGs. <laughs> I, I can't, like, OGs, I can't. And it because I can't write out that. I'm glad you... Maybe I can. Maybe I can't. I just... No, no, I can't. Fuck that. No, it's just... Well, I'd rather just chill my mind take go somewhere else. Well, what it is, is, is you can't because it's been planted in your head from yourself that you can. I agree. You can. I agree. It's just that you I found that. something that works for you I right agree. now, which is the with which is the um the 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 hybrids and the sativas, which is a good thing. I agree. Because that will unlock you to be able to do I agree. the shit later. You know what I mean? But I agree. I'm glad you bring that up because a lot of people don't know that like if 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 they're not like it, it, if it, in the creative space, if they don't have the tolerance like smoking those indicas like heavy and all that shit yeah you could come up on a block it <laughs> was a block <laughs> uh, uh, and y'all can take this part out right like it, the camera be on you and yeah, it'll be on me right here thank uh, y'all the, you know, like the writer's block. You know what I'm Real, saying? That's that's the block, right? So like, oh, the writer's block is the uh, block. I uh, thank you for telling. I'm gonna put that in the bar. If if you're too if you're too fucking faded that like your ideas are just mush, yeah, you know what I mean. That's it's gonna be a creative <laughs> block for you, right? Yes. It, but it takes tolerance to get past that. And so the fact that you're saying like, you know, I fucks with the hybrids and, and the sativas when if I'm going to be creative because the other shit, like I can't get there yet. Right. I like the way you say yet. Yeah. I like you got to keep using it. Yeah, you're right. Because you can get there. I want to get there. You will. You got to take me there. I'll take you there. Yeah, take me there. It's it, Look, what I find, boo, is this, right? It's it's manifestation of the thoughts you put in your head, right? So like it's as simple as this, right? When you say to someone, "Hey, you can accomplish this," you're 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 reinforcing something into them that like is giving them like a confidence, like I agree. And, and depending what they say to themselves after that, mm -hmm. right? So like if I tell E Zone, "Hey man, you could be one of the dopest rappers out there." Now he could either say to himself, I can try, he's done. 
or or eh, no, I can't, man. So, but yeah, yeah thank you. Tripping. But no, I can't. He's tripping. I facts. can't. Big facts. Now try and I don't I don't know. You're done. If you say, you know what, <laughs> he's fucking right. He's fucking I right. I can. Mm-hmm. I will. You will fucking your trajectory will be different. You'll like stretch eat no matter what, you'll strive to be the best you because you think and you've planted in your seed, I could be one of the best. It's like when little Wayne said, right? And 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 it may sound funny to motherfuckers, but this is this is you know reinforcing positive um thought into your head and saying, the greatest rapper retired, so I'm the greatest <laughs> rapper alive. Mm-hmm. Right? I'm the greatest rapper mm-hmm. alive since the greatest rapper retired. However you want to fucking mm-hmm. say that, mm-hmm. I'm the greatest yeah. rapper alive. And yeah. if you believe it, and as many times as you say it, you can be it. And what does people say about <laughs> Wayne today? Shit. Fuck what, I mean, <laughs> shout out to the people, but I'm people too. What I say about Wayne is Wayne mm-hmm. hard as fuck. Exactly. You uh, you it, got it. He's okay. one, he's, he's, he's one, yeah, he's, dude. He's, Right here. Dude, uh he's one of the dopest. That song the dude got uh Birdman JR. I play that on a regular. Like I know, I know the whole song. And he was like way young. And I, I know Wayne personally. He just got a good spirit too. And he definitely got a soldier spirit. So I believe I hear that because when all all the people that say they're the greatest, the boxes and all that, they typically are and they typically yeah, be. They shift. Like it's, it's Wayne. Shift. Yeah, like Wayne's bars went to another level when he started saying that. I like, agree. Because he believed it. I agree. And then him believing in that caused his fans to believe that. <laughs> and that's real shit. I mean, that and, is real. and it's all what you tell yourself. You know what I mean? And I'll say this to anybody out there. If you're trying to do something, know and believe that you can. If you say, I might, maybe, I'll try. I don't know. You've done yourself in on the start you got i'm gonna write the coldest song on number indica hell yeah watch (laughs) there you go see see that's straight indica that's positive reinforcement right there that's that's just gonna manifest right there i'm telling you the positive shit you say to yourself or the negative shit you say to yourself will manifest so it's important at night or in the morning you wake up telling yourself good shit yeah you know what I'm saying? Facts. You, there's a so the Lakers when they had that that uh, triple championship run, right? Phil Jackson writes a book. Okay, what he say in the book? On on talking about like how he he recognized the different characters of and and different um, personalities of all all the team, right? Uh huh. From the main players to the role players. And he gave them all books that related to themselves, right? And like plant. Wait a minute, hold on. You okay? So you say he gave them? He gave them all different books that related oh. that, that related yeah, yeah, to yeah. who they were as yeah. people, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And it was gonna hit with them. That was gonna hit with them, and it, they were all books in all their roles into thinking, you know, a positive outcome on themselves and on their situation. Facts. But it broke down everything individually. That's pretty interesting. So whatever he gave, he whatever he gave Kobe, he gave Kobe. Whatever he gave Shaq, he gave Shaq. And yeah, that's you know, whoever read the books, read the books. Whoever didn't, didn't. But you see how like some of that shit resonated. They believed that they were the best, and they played like it. I wonder what the weirdest book. Kobe and gave and they trusted each other. You know what I mean? To do the roles. Yeah. And and it, it was all like him getting them to, to manifest this shit by saying it to themselves, saying their roles and, you know, and, and accepting. What's your sign? Shit. I'm a Gemini. Oh, okay. I like Gemini. What's yours? I'm a Leo. August uh-huh. 7th. My wife is a Leo. I, I Cause you give me like good, it's like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, this guy, like, yeah, yeah. you remind me of me like. The Leos my, be the- taking <laughs> charge over here. I already know. What's up? She an August Leo or July? She's uh July 30th. Oh, okay. She right there. Yeah. I'm an August one, but shout out to Leo wifey. Yeah. I could just tell, but even with Gemini's all, I like Gemini's. Like, yeah, I got a pit bull, um, uh, 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 but then I'll not know, um, uh, like what? Not what's not the word ain't rumor. I'm high right now. What? <laughs> pit bull, bad reputation. Bad rep. Yeah, but pit bull like my pit, pit bulls are the sweetest fucking dogs. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So Gemini's, yeah. Gemini's, we live in the okay, lions. You got den. good energy. You on that manifestation vibe? Yeah, we and we live <clears> in the lions. Den. we surrounded by Leos. 
Yeah. <laughs> I swear to God, I can't, you know, like my, my father was a Leo, my homie is Stevan Are Oreo, you serious? Jabran, Your dad too? Leo, um, Steph Tone's a Leo, you, with a wifey. Oh, a Capricorn. He's a cap. He's oh, like I like my caps mom. too. He's like yeah, my, my mom. I got, yeah, Rest I got, in peace. My friends are caps. Um, yeah, you know, so we, the, us, us so Geminis, we live in that lion's den. It's really. the energy. Okay, it's, <laughs> yeah. a, it's the energy. Yeah. And guys, just to let y'all know, uh, some of this stuff is going to be like, not going to be me because I do not want y'all to see me. <laughs> <laughs> Sweating bullet. <laughs> we gonna cut the cameras. Uh, but yeah, but now it's a it's a hella vibe and this weed I thought I was gonna be over it, but this weed is like it's the tasty, weed that right? make you think and like yeah. this the biggest vibe weed. Is that where you stop weed? Like you don't take mushrooms? Who me? Nah man, um to be honest with you, dude, I had like um two bad, experience no two not, bad trips no I, I didn't even get a chance to trip because the first time i did it i was with a dude we was at a grateful goddamn dead concert no shit. damn really okay. yeah i'll be mean, doing yeah we both was like, like what the fuck was you doing there yeah like, nah, i'm a vibe i'm a whole vibe i I'm know all yeah. kind of shit but um anyway he kept asking me was i high rest in peace so that's my boy jerry tall ass white boy in memphis he just kept saying are you high and just and I was like, I don't fucking know, dude. You blowing it. I don't know, dude. I want to get the fuck out of here now. I don't know. I don't want to be high no more if this is much true. If I'm seeing everything in 3D and you towering over me, asking me in my high. And the second time I did it, um, I had I had to call 911 on the guy I was with. Oh man. Because he told me to. Hmm. You know, it was cool. He it was his birthday and he ate like just a bag of them shit he went for too, the first time he went too hard yeah and I, I just couldn't believe it I'm like dog we grown as hell this is your birthday <laughs> uh, I want to hang out too and like vibe with it and now I'm fucking calling 911 because you in my living room having a panic attack and I'm a black girl and you are this white guy oh man I do not need no problem <laughs> no that's what <laughs> but, it was, feel, but yeah. it was an interesting thing <laughs> no. it wasn't no shade enough. it was just no I got see a stomach pump Oh, no, no, no. He didn't yeah. overdose. You know, he was just spooked. He, he got spooked, to yeah. yeah, that was his first time. So, yeah. Yeah, he had like a panic attack. And so those are the only I, I two times that I fucking had mushrooms. I got to tell you, that is everything, right? Like, you know, whether you'll try it again or not, it, it, because if those are the first two experiences, it's almost like PTSD. Like, you're scarred <laughs> exactly. by that shit. Exactly. Because, I, you know, I, I... You have to have someone around, like a... They, I forgot what they call it. it like a guide. Like, yeah, you know. You know, what know? I mean? Like a shaman. But exactly. Like, for mushrooms, not so much, but you need to have mm. someone that's keyed in, like, that That will, like, if they notice that you're starting to trip, they'll pull you back out of that. And, like, uh, and snap you out of it. Because yeah, see, I... If you're around the wrong people, you'll start tripping in a bad way and, it, and it'll ruin the fucking time for <clears> you. We really didn't even know what to do. Yeah. We thought we thought we were supposed to be seeing shit. <laughs> and oh. he was in front of the TV, but he went to the hospital. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he see, came that, back, yeah, but that. he came back. He left. He came I back to my house. I can't imagine. <laughs> and then we, it was a vibe. <laughs> I can't imagine being fried up like that, being in a hospital. Yo, that, yeah, he, he left. He came back to my house. He was like, yo, I got to leave. I was like, I'm stoned. I'm like, I'm looking at my phone and I'm thinking like, Damn, this is crazy. He got to come back and we both have, but it ended smooth. Yeah. Would you, would you try it again if it was in the right setting? Uh, yes. I want to actually try it um, in like Microdose. nature. Well, I always hear about microdose. A lot of my friends do that. So I would say that would be one. Right. For sure. I, yeah. And I just want to be like in nature or something like in Topanga or some shit or even on the yeah. ocean because that's when I, I heard like be the best ones yeah, yeah but I don't know no definitely because it's more peaceful yeah I was in, I live in Koreatown bro so I was like oh you're right oh, we you're was close. in the house and shit on mushrooms oh you out here close <laughs> ah yeah I've been in LA I did not eight. know that yeah, yeah. I, I know it now tripping in the yep. city like you gonna be around here more boo ah oh, yeah <laughs> nah man I'm the, I'm the new co-host man gangsta boo man blaze up a boo <laughs> produced by man my boy be real right. <laughs> we gonna get that Indica tolerance up, baby. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, man. <laughs> but back to the music. I'm working on a blueprint, and I'm just stoked to be doing a lot of shows with the guys. Um, I don't know like when this is going to air, but I'm doing Rolling Out. Oh, nice. Or doing Rolling Out. Let's I don't go. know when it's going to air. Oh, this is pretty soon. Okay, well, yeah. So anyway, I, like we doing Rolling Loud. Um, we doing some shit, like, and we just got a lot of shit going on together. And it feels good to be back on the stage with them, especially Juicy. It looks good, too. Yeah, we it, crunchy, and I think it, thank you for saying that, because I, I agree. Like, it, we look polished as fuck. Yes, when you yeah. came on, I mean, motherfuckers was 
feeling that shit. At like, the verses? Yeah. Can I share can I share like a short story about when yes. I when I so I had an out of body experience, like when I mean that not on a weird way, like trippy in my mind, but that's how I be. I be like, damn, you gangster boo. But then I also respect others. Like now I'm like, damn, this be real. Like so and I'd say that about all my friends. I cannot believe I got the coolest friends like the A Balls and the MJGs. But when I walked out on that damn stage, I remember thinking, cause I didn't have my anxiety. I didn't, I thought it was just like a regular show. Yeah. I walked out on that damn stage and I this what I said to myself when I saw Bone him on the other side, I said, damn bitch. You out here with bone thugs <laughs> and three six. You can't even turn around. It's hey. like my stage fright. I had stage fright, fright the whole time, and you didn't even know. Hey, the when, whole no, time I had no, stage fright. You was poised. You couldn't tell you. You was like, you was poised, <laughs> and and when you came out, you got a pop, and that's important. Like when I people, do, I'm very poppy. When they came, when you came out, very and motherfuckers got got excited about that. That was everything. Yeah, man. That's yeah. Because no, I, I don't cool. think they expected to see you. You know right. what I mean? And right. when you came out, <coughs> that shit was everything. Right, right. Now, we look good. So I'm definitely fortunate. And I'm blessed as fuck. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm blessed as fuck like, to, to be like a female MC from Memphis that everybody kind of always, like, it's kind of like when, like a Lil' Kim, like, the you know, uh, I'm nobody co uh, compare me to anyone, but they always compare others to me. Right. So it's like I'm the blueprint. That's right. And it feels good. I see that. It, feel, it feels real good. Cause I like what I see, but I also like to get re recognition myself. So it feels good. Like yeah, and, the time and, is now. And I and I'm seeing you get it, cause motherfuckers was like showing nothing but respect. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I'm fortunate. It, it was like they did what they was supposed to. They had yeah. everybody locked. <coughs> yeah, and, and um, it gave what it was supposed to get. Them folks brought Terrence Howard. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was like, man, yeah. they do it too much. <laughs> like, okay, because uh, I knew, but I did. You know, seeing is like seeing it is a whole yeah. Because I wasn't like hanging out with all of them or whatever. I, Paul told me like the last minute type shit. You know what I'm saying? Then I, I definitely didn't think I was gonna see Wayne. It was just like so. It was it was definitely good to be on the stage with them for sure. Because yeah. we hadn't performed since um 2019 or some shit. It was before COVID. Together, if I if I'm not mistaken. So let me ask you this: Out of all y'all, who's chief and the hardest? Man, that's a good question. Um, well, you I'll, know, I'll say this: You and you and Paul have been been in here. Oh, Paul been in this motherfucker. Yeah, DJ. Yeah, I yeah. gotta watch that. <laughs> what? So I know you, chief, because you're in here, and I know yeah. Paul. Chief, I've been waiting on Juicy. You know, I'm gonna be honest. I haven't really blazed out with Juicy yet. Like recently or whatever, but he giving me hella stone vibes now. He be with Wiz. I heard that. Wiz, yes. Wiz is kind of out there on that Wiz shit. I saw his his uh stuff out there. I want to try that spin shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got that. Yeah, I saw, that's you what I'm saying. That? I saw. Hell yeah, I want to okay. try that shit. So if Juicy hanging with him like that, Jay might be a stoner. All right. So the spin shit that Boo's talking about is uh, our Stunden glass, which Wiz, Ka Wiz Khalifa got his. Mike Tyson got one called the 2.0. That's hard. We got the Dr. Green Thumb version. And uh -huh. it's a gravity bong that you could put flour, tobacco, or concentrate. We here at Green Thumb, we use it for concentrate. So you flip it, and you hit it, and you flip it, and you hit it, and you flip it, and you hit it. And so that's... She wants to try the flip. Is it like a um a vape type vibe or it's is it a like a bomb? Huh? It's a dab hit. It could it could Oh, it's a dab hit. Well, y'all no. smoking like that and yeah. that Yeah, we yeah. do it. Y'all like some y'all some crazy. But you people. could do but you <laughs> but but you do got there is a flower attachment. So if you just wanted to do the flower, you can do that shit. But dabs are even stronger though. So what do y'all do in there? The, yeah, a flower we, dab. We, 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 that's, that's what I'm we, saying. You act like that's normal. Y'all, that is not normal. <laughs> These boys, well, it's real stuff. Well, you know what it is? Is 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 <laughs> like, yeah, it's dab. Yeah, it's, so it's for us. It's like um, <laughs> for us when, when when you when you do the bong hits, right? For me, like cause I used to do a shitload of bong hits, right? So bong hitters love this particular fucking piece, right? Right. But for me, like the bong shit, it's like at the end of the hit, there's always this little bit of stale smoke from the overburn. Yeah, facts. No, I mean from facts. from from the rest of right. that hot ass burn from the right. ending of the flower if you're right. snapping it right. So you get a good hit coming in, and then when you blow it out, you, you taste a little bit of that stale shit. Yeah. With with the concentrates, 
there's none of that it's all flavor like what comes in is the same shit going out and it's not a like you don't get any of the carcinogens right it's just like the straight up um straight up flavor of the the terpenes of the thc and all that so you have something i could try it oh like, yeah yeah okay well good oh, yeah that and add oh, that in there. i'm gonna try it oh, we, go, we, go, we gonna get you flipping it <laughs> yeah no, I yeah, this, it. <laughs> yeah see we use that on the dr green thumb show for all y'all that don't know dr green thumb show monday through friday 2 p.m pacific standard time yes, on the start it's live and we do these flips, right? We have this 30 minute challenge on the front of the show where- You're Always challenging folks to smoke weed, I'm huh? try No, no, here's, here's the challenge is, <laughs> well, yeah, that too. But in the first 30 minutes, we challenge ourselves not to curse the first 30 minutes of the show. But if, oh. if we violate, we either, gotta, go? we either gotta take a shot of whiskey or tequila or whatever is on the okay, table at okay. the time. Could be mama tequila wanna. Tequila for me. Yeah, same. Right. Uh -huh. My spades are slipping. And if if we don't want to do the shot, we got to do five flips of oh wow of the thing. But you typically want to do the shots, or you typically just like cheating them and like just say I'm gonna flip it. Well, the flips are heavy. Like doing five flips is that's what I'm saying. But Wiz, I be saying so you don't do it like that. I see him just flip it and flip it and flip it. I showed him how you do those flips. So you know he's <laughs> he's probably the only one. He's probably the only one. Outside of our circle, that can, that's a flip yeah. king. Yeah, I'm gonna I mean? flip that whole one time, y'all. Oh, Straight yeah. up, oh god, I'm oh, yeah. gonna go flip it, flip it. Oh, we fl we'll 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 give you a demonstration. <laughs> we'll give you a demonstration. But salute to Wiz, yes, he's a flip king. So yeah, I think Juicy would probably be a good one. Crunchy used to smoke a lot. I think all of us kind of just, you know, we had our fucking run. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we had our fucking run. I'm so fucking high strong. Please, y'all, fucking Google the definition of that. It sets you, it, it mellows you out, right? Yeah, it mellows me out, but also sometimes sativa do give me anti, but because I'm just like high, strong, and fidgety anyway. I prefer like just to be smoked out on weed. And also, sometimes the white liquor, I've also noticed as I started adulting, that be kind of having me hyped too. You mm. know what I'm saying? So yeah. now it's I'm not like, as heavy. I, I really like the wine. I like wine and weed. So, yeah. yeah and I do do my bongs and I do um, my little, uh, my bowl. So if that is more cleaner, I'd rather do that. It is clean. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to mellow my life out right so now. So check this do, out, I need right? anything that mellows me. The, the fact that you mentioned that, right? So concentrates will mellow, mellow you the fuck out. People that are, that are high strong. I'm high strong. Yeah. Cause, Cause I am when I'm not smoking weed. That's why I don't ever oh, not smoke weed. Oh, really? Oh yeah. You see, so, I'm damn near, I'm, I'm kind of thinking I might be high strong when I'm high off the weed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. So concentrates <laughs> for high strong people is great if those high strong people want to be mellow. Yeah, right. Would you agree with that? I, I agree one hundred. So, so trying the dabs, like you don't got to do the five flips. You do yeah, one. Yeah, no, I want to do one. And, and and you'll taste the flavor and you'll like it a lot better. Oh. And and you'll get to that place where you feel mellow. You know yeah, what I mean? I and uh, no, nah, you hit it on the one with that shit because I mean that I think that's why a lot of people do dabs more than you know. There's still a lot of people that do flour over dabs, but I'm saying the people that do dabs. It's, I think, one, it's because they love the flavor. Two, because the impact is fast. And yeah, it, I want to check out this flavor. And yeah. it hits. But three, <clears throat> it also deals with that shit if you're high strung. Like if you smoke enough and you smoke heavy enough, you'll be mellow and you'll be right into that fucking All the mood. fucking stoners, you guys are mellow as shit. And I guess I'm not a stoner. I might be like, a, a, I'm a baby stoner, y'all, because... We definitely calm me down, but maybe I should up the ante and just be straight the fuck indica and concentrates. Like, yeah, I mean, but now I'm good. I'm a good crunk. It's yeah, just, I mean, you I'm know, just high. you you just go little by little. You know what I'm saying? Oh, fuck that. I want to be high. <laughs> okay, there we go. If I can ramp it up, <laughs> goddamn want... <laughs> Yeah, this is. I want to be fucking high. You came high, to man. Green Thumb University. We <laughs> ramp it up fast over here. I turn average stoners <laughs> into top elite. Stoners, oh, is that not right, Ezo? That is one hundred percent. Ezo came to us an average stoner, and now he is amongst the top five in the elite of stoners. Oh, He's shit. like the weed X Men here. Yeah, no, we could, you, you know, you could be the newest, the newest oh, student shit. and graduate. Baby, y'all got me over here. Y'all got me over here with the Chanel West Coast giggle. 
I'm mad at my ass off. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> you got oh, any man. shows coming up? Fuck, do I? Let's see. The Rolling Loud. Um, then I write the next right. day. I got to be in Memphis. Um, yep, I definitely do. All right. And I'm I'm fortunate. We also, uh, I probably can't talk about it, but I'm going to be back with the boys again in August. We doing some big shit. Nice. In Tennessee, and then we we just got a lot of cool shit going on. That's great. And I I do too. Um, on my own, you know, I was I was just on that damn TV show. That was kind of crazy. And if not, we don't talk about that cool. But um, <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm still just moving and grooving, hanging out in LA, chilling, Hell being yeah. the best homebody. And um, you know what I want to do? I'm thinking about doing like a true crime podcast. At least trying out trying it out to see like maybe film like an episode because I'm really into that. Hey, if you need a place to do it, call oh. the doctor. Oh, yeah, dead ass, dead ass. And you know. That's awesome. Yes, that would be fucking cool because that's what I really want to do. We'd love to have you. I appreciate that. So, yeah, other than that, I'm just, man, doing the same shit, just uh, living my life. Right on. High and fly. I want to thank you for taking the time to sit thank in. Thank you, too, with man. Us. You got me smoked out. Oh, my yeah. God. This is called the baptism. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, you y'all, get baptized. I got baptized. You know what I'm saying? And, and you the, know what's so very interesting? It it cooled off almost. Right? Yeah, what is that not weird? No, it's, you adjusted it, to you, it. We adjusted. adjusted. We we as they say in with for the bigger, be, bigger word of, uh, for the sake of wow, the bigger that's word. What happened. We, we acclimated. Wow. We acclimated but, to the situation. And see the thing is, you and y'all already acclimated. So yeah, this is my first we time, so that's why yeah. I'm in here sweating and stuff. No, see, I you feel guys you. ain't broke not one sweat. I'm like, do these dudes got Botox? And look, and you got past it. Yes, see, I got past it, y'all. See, that's I'm the, blessed. See, that's the body the, recognizes that, it. That's the first part if of, I can do it, of the Green Thumb University. Just got past the first shit. Oh shit. Green Thumb University. That's right. Uh, we want to thank everybody for getting down with us today. Let them know where to reach out to I feel like, uh, yeah, I feel like this was like super, like just hanging out with a homie that's filming the conversation. Because it so was. So I appreciate that. Yeah, this, this, <laughs> yeah, we weren't doing like too much interviews. We were just really smoking. Yeah. <laughs> uh, y'all can just hit me up. Man, my fucking Instagram got suspended. I don't know if it's going to be up by the time this air, but shit, pretty much. I'm on the new Instagram page for now, QOM, but I just be on Twitter, shit like that, gangstaboo.com, stuff like that, y'all. Typical social media stuff. So make sure y'all holler at me. And thank you for the love. That's right. the regular girl in the material world. That's right. Uh, salute to all y'all. Leave a comment. Like this shit. Subscribe. Click on the all notification bell. And most yeah, of all, don't be all mean in the comment. You just yeah. did you just say most of all what? Most of all, share this shit yeah, out. Yeah, share it. Show love, y'all. I'm fucking stoned as fuck. And I got my three six Raiders jersey. That's on. right. Send dog <laughs> would appreciate this jersey right Who? here. Send dog. Send dog. Yeah. What's up, send dog? Yeah, he he. You know he's still a big Raiders fan. He lives out there, you know, so he represents salute Move with to the dog. Yeah, he moved with us. <laughs> yeah. He said, oh, the Raiders are leaving. I'm too. <laughs> so salute to said dog. Um, and, and thanks for having me. And shout out to all your fans and your subscribers who even watch the show. You know what I'm saying? Word up. And the new ones that's going to get to know about Gangsta Boo. And we can't wait to see y'all get down. So uh, oh, that's man. exciting. We're uh, going to wrap it up right here for E-Zone. Check out the next High and Hungry and We Don't Smoke the Same. Check out the Dr. Green Thumb show. Monday through Friday. Keep smoking that good, good, no boof. One. Got the heart of a lion, soul of a titan, mind of a genius. We fly with the heightened. All your senses are senseless, resistant, relentless. It's what they call you when your grind is endless. Let's get this. They say I'm psycho. I move weight like lipo. Got a big crib like Michael. Out the window with a rifle. My wrist game on light show. I'm backstage with white hoes. I got pre rolls in that red cup. That's key line. Don't like those. Got a full pack and we move that. Too aggressive, better pull back. Weight heavy, gotta run ready. My game steady, but you move that. I'm too on and my crew strong.